So now we're moving on to factorising a quadratic into double brackets. Okay. Now the way to spot, as I said in the previous video, how this would be double brackets rather than single brackets is the fact that we have this constant term, this minus six on the end. Okay. None of these three uh, terms individually have common factors. So I can't pull a common factor outside of all three of these to make it a single bracket. So if it is going to factorise, it's going to be two brackets. Now, a lot of people don't particularly like factorising. In some cases it can be tricky, and that puts people off. Um, so hopefully I'm going to give you a few kind of ideas and methods of how to do this and how to get around it and how to become comfortable with it. It is essential that you practice factorising. It's you need to really make sure that it's uh, you know the natural thing to be able to do. And in order to get that good at it, you are going to have to practice it. So. I'm starting off with this example, x squared minus x minus 6. We need to be able to factorise this one. Um, so, you may well have been taught the technique that uh, we need to be able to multiply the two numbers together. So, by the two numbers, I mean that because we've got x squared and nothing, no number in front, we can have an x multiplied by an x. And the two numbers that are missing here and here, need to multiply together to make the minus 6, but they also need to add together to make minus 1, the number that is in front of the x, the coefficient of the linear term. So we need them to multiply together to make minus 6, and we need them to add together to make minus 1. Okay? And what you really need to do is you just need to think about what those two numbers could possibly be. So, numbers that multiply together and make minus 6 are 1 and minus 6, uh, minus 1 and 6, 2 and minus 3, or minus 2 and 3. Okay? And it's really just combining those numbers together and getting your mental arithmetic good to make sure that when they add together they make minus 1. And the two that do would be minus 3 and plus 2. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. Minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. So that is perfectly fine as the two numbers. And that's how it would factorise. Uh, some students ask me, uh, does it doesn't matter which way round they go. It doesn't. Okay, so you could have, you're perfectly fine writing this, which is exactly the same as that anyway. Okay, they are both the same thing. So don't worry about uh, switching the brackets around into any order you like, that's fine. Okay, uh, it's the same as saying that 3 times 2 is the same as 2 times 3. Okay, so it wouldn't change it. So in this, that's how you need to be able to factorise when the coefficient of x squared is just 1. And in the next uh, video, we're going to be looking at an example where uh, the coefficient isn't 1. And that's where it becomes a little bit more fiddly.